Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. I don't have a lot of time today to do a whole tutorial, so today we're just going to be showcasing all of our Minecraft freight car rolling stock that we've done. And remember, every single train car that you see in this video already has a tutorial up on the channel already if you want to build it, so just go and look for it. French Fried Trains is a channel for adult rail vans and minecrafters and is not intended for children under 13 years of age. This is a fan channel for fun. We are not affiliated in any way with Microsoft or Mojang. This is not an official Minecraft product. And as a friendly reminder, I do not take requests at all. Thank you and enjoy the video. So, as you can see here as we start off, we have an Automax double articulated auto rack here. And this one is unique as it just has the little holes in the squares on the sides. And even though it looks like two cars, it is counted as a single car here. And here we have another auto rack, this time in an older building style. This is a Burlington Northern one. But the thing unique about this one is this one actually has an open door. And as you can see, there is a full interior with two levels to park cars on here. And then next up, right here, we have a Chicago Northwestern hopper car, followed by a tank car. And this one's not a freight car, but it happens to be on the track. It's an Amtrak Superdome car. And then we have one of the older style Gramps tank cars here, followed by a more modern take on a tank car. And here we even see we have this railroad crane in an older style. Next, as we head over here, we're gonna take a look at the world's largest rail car. This is the Schnabel car, used for carrying super big, oversized loads. And this is the empty version. It's actually two halves that are hooked together when it's empty. And then the full version's over here next to it. And when it has a load, the load is suspended in between the two halves. And each half has a control cap and they can move the load up and down and side to side based on the curves that they're going around at the time. And then we'll come on over to our next track. These ones are a few years old, so they should be using bamboo instead of oak stairs here. But this is the CSX safety train tank car and the safety train box car. And these are used to train first responders and stuff on railroad equipment. And here's a little flat car with some containers on it. This one is the small tank container. And here we see a BNSF covered hopper car. And this is a passenger car from the Philippines that just happened to be on this track. Followed by a more modern Union Pacific covered hopper and a BNSF auto rack. I like auto racks, so there are a lot of auto racks in this. Then we have an old seaboard system covered hopper car here. And this blue one is a Grand Trunk auto rack. Then we have a KCS box car, and this one's pretty colorful. Followed by a modern Canadian National cylindrical covered hopper this time. And then another auto rack here. This one is a Baromex auto rack. And then a different style of tank car here. And a seaboard system box car. Then we have an oversized Union Pacific box car here. And this, I believe, is a BNSF hopper car. And this is actually a scale test car used for calibrating scales. And this white one is one of the modern CSX and GATX auto racks. And then this is an old Conrail quality auto rack. And then this one here is pretty cool. This is one of the older style auto racks before they put on the roof and sides. So you can actually see all of the cars inside it here. And then this is the CSX Christmas train box car. And then we'll head over to this other track here. There's some cabooses on this one. We have a Rock Island Bay window caboose. And an old Chessie system caboose here. And a Burlington Northern caboose. And then here's an Illinois Central covered hopper. 
this one's pretty cool. This is another articulated auto rack, but it's the more modern TTX version, where it's articulated over a single truck in the middle. And we have yet another style of tank car here. And here is a Cryotrans refrigerator car. And an old Conrail coil shield car here. Then we have a chassis system covered hopper and a New York Central box car. And this is actually an old livestock car back when they used to transport animals so the sides are open so the livestock can get air. Then we have a Conrail Caboose shoving platform here. And one of my favorites, an old Sioux Line box car. Then we have a more modern TTX box car here. And then an older Illinois Central box car. And then this is a BNSF coil shield car in a modern style. And this is an older CSX auto rack. And here we have a three pack of spine cars carrying FedEx trailers. And then down on the end here, we actually have a rail car mover, which is a vehicle that can go on the rails or the road and is used in small industries to move small amounts of rail cars along so they don't need rail service to move their cars. And this one's pretty cool. This is the Shorewear Gustav rail gun. And this was used in World War II and it is the largest railroad gun ever made and it's so big it actually has to run on two separate tracks here and this one was a long time to build then over here we have an empty bulkhead flat car here and a more modern Canadian national box car then this is an oversized flat car carrying a heavy load in this case a large industrial power transformer and we have the more modern version of a CSX coil car here. And then this one here is a modern Union Pacific refrigerator car. And then behind this we have a Ferromix box car. And here's one of the old Coke Express oversized hopper cars. And then this one I believe is a Rio Grande covered hopper and then we have this SCL whopper hopper which is supposed to be one of the largest capacity hoppers ever and then down here we have a little Sperry rail inspection high rail truck and this is what this looks like here and next up we have the TTX cancer awareness boxcar followed by an old Pennsylvania railroad caboose then an older style of CP rail box car and a modern style of GTX box car. Then here we have a Rock Island open top hopper three bay. And you got another auto rack, this time a CP rail one. And then here is a main central box car. And then this next one is one of the new style Norfolk Southern coil cars. Then here we have a bulkhead flat car used for carrying metal slabs. And then here is a Tropicana Juice refrigerator car. And finally we have this old Santa Fe Caboose. So that's all our Minecraft freight cars that we've done on the channel. Well actually I have done some more a long time ago but they're in an outdated and less detailed building style and not worth showing off compared to these ones. And like I said, if you want to build any of the cars you've seen here, every single one of them already has a tutorial up on the channel. Just go and look for it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.